several years ago, I was in the Shetland Islands and my wife and I got off of a plane and we walked across the tarmac of an airport and the wind was blowing so hard. I mean, it was just blowing and, and it was just like we were, our backs, there was this bin in my back and as I walked and I looked over at my wife and she had a bin in her back and I looked around at all the people and they had bents in their back. And, and you know what? All of us have a bent in our hearts. You see, just as the wind was blowing and, and bending me backwards, there's the wind of sin that is blown across all of our lives and we all have that nature of sin. We've all sinned, the Bible says. All of us have sinned and come short of the glory of God. But there is good news that I have for you today because one of the names ascribed to God is that of Jehovah Sidkenu, God our righteousness. And the Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 23 and verse 6 that he will be called Jehovah Sidkenu, God our righteousness. And we've been talking about Jesus all week. And one of the most wonderful things about Jesus is this, that he is our righteousness. You see, I've sinned. You've sinned. We've all sinned. Your friends, family, the littlest baby to the oldest person has that nature within them, that, that bent in their hearts towards sin. We all have it. And so because we've all failed, none of us are righteous in a totally right standing with God because of sin. But the good news is this, that Jesus Christ came to this earth, lived a sinless, perfect, holy life, and then he took the punishment for your sins and our sins when he died on the cross. And so today, my righteousness is not by anything I've done, but the righteousness I have is because of what he has done. Jesus is the Lord our righteousness. And so he is my righteousness. I depend upon on him. I trust in him. I look to him and I am in right standing with God, not because of anything that I have done, but I am in right standing with God because of what Jesus did, what he did on the cross, because he died for me, because he lived a sinless, perfect, holy life. I can come into a right relationship with God. Oh, how wonderful that is. Oh, how wonderful that is. The reason I can pray, the reason I can do what I do today is because Jesus is my righteousness. The greatest message that we have to share is this, that Jesus died to take the punishment for our sins. He did not have a bent in his back. He lived a straight, totally perfect life. And today we need to be sharing that our only hope is in Christ. Our only righteousness is in Christ. He is God, our righteousness.